Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be setting up the save and resume QSM add-on. And if you'd like to set up your own disposable WordPress environment, check out this service called InstaWP. It has amazing features in both the free and pro versions. The pro version is also quite affordable. Plans start at $9. So check out their website. It's instawp.io. All right, so from your WordPress dashboard, you just want to go over to QSM. So it's on the left, simply click QSM. And if you have not installed the Quiz and Survey Master plugin, there will be a link on the screen to a video that shows you how to get started. Once you're on this screen, click Extend QSM with Pro Add-ons. All right, so you should be on this landing page. If you want to purchase add-ons as a pack, select one of these pricing plans or scroll down to purchase individual add-ons. So you want to find save and resume, click browse all add-ons, scroll until you find the add-on It's right here, save and resume. Select one of these license options on the right, then click add to cart. So once you're on the cart page, all you need to do is enter your payment information and you will receive your license key as well as a link to download your add-on. Okay, so let's set up the add-on. Um, hover over plugins, then click add new. Then click upload plugin from this page. Here you can either click this button to choose the file from your computer or simply navigate to your download location and drag the add-on to this button right here, then click install now. And you just wanna wait until the installation is complete. Once it's done, click activate plugin. All right, so the installation is now complete. All we need to do right now is install the license key. So hover over QSM on the left, then click add on settings. Once you're on this page, find the save and resume add on, then click settings. Now you want to paste your license key in this box. And we have two options at the bottom. I'm going to check yes next to the second one to show the option to retake the quiz. If you want, you can show the results page if a user has already completed the quiz. To do this, you just need to check yes. Now let's go over to quizzes or surveys. Select one of your quizzes or surveys. I'm going to select general questions. At the top, click save and resume. Here, I'm going to select yes for both options, then click save settings. Okay, so all we need to do is test this out. I'm going to use the general questions quiz to test this. So I'm going to go over to posts, then all posts, and um, let's view general questions. So here it is. Um, we have two buttons, load quiz and save quiz. If we scroll down, let's start entering random options. Okay, so we're not going to continue. We're going to click Save Quiz, then reload the page. Now, if we scroll back down, we will see that it is blank. But if we go back up and click Load Quiz, the options that we previously selected reappear. So you can always continue taking the quiz at a later date. Okay, so I really hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.